Well, hello, you viewers to be named later. How are we doing today? We're going to continue on with this tread today of taking a look at something new, new by CRKT. That's right. The Papa Sierra Delta, or the PSD, which basically stands for Particle Separation Device, is in the house. All right, now before we get to the blade, CRKT always throws in some great propaganda. This one has an assisted opener, so they want you to know all about it. If you want to know great more detail, go to that website right there. They'll teach you everything you need to know in a much better way than I ever could. And they always include some propaganda about a brand new blade. And thankfully, because I'm doing a little bit of block filming today, this is the fourth video. The last three have been the Chance in Hell Machete. And this one's just a kiss. So, it's just something I want you to take a look at and get you to try to buy. Alrighty. When I saw the picture of this bad boy, I went, Oh, you have to come to the channel. I like you a lot. There is an awful lot to unpack in this thing. I love the <coughs> carbon fiber scales. I love the blue spacers that they put in there. I just love the overall effort that they put into this thing to make it look awesome. Everything from the back swedge on the harpoon style blade, I, I just, I'm in love. But, let's get into the fun stuff like we usually do. Now, from my understanding, this is a Jim Hammond design. I'm sure we've brought some stuff from him from him to the channel before. So take a look right up top. You can see a card for every single affordable everyday carry blade I've ever brought to the channel. You can see some good stuff in there. It's got an overall length of 8.19 inches. The blade is 3.63. Enclosed, it's 4.59. It's got a bigger weight, too, at a 4.60 ounces. But after about 30, 40 seconds, you really don't realize it's in your pocket. Seriously. Now, they do call it the drop point style, but I've found it in other areas where they call it a harpoon style, like I said earlier, basically with a swedge right here for reinforcement. I do like the jimping they have here, or you can even go further up for, for even better control for close-up work that you need to. Now, we do have a hollow grind with a plain edge, and man, that satiny finish is just beautiful. Like I made mention, we do have, you know, the blue backspacer accents and other wonderful little things on here. I thought there was supposed to be one down there, but it doesn't matter. It, oh, yeah, before I forget, the blade steel is 1.4116 stainless steel. I know, I know, I know. Calm down. It's okay. We do have a stainless steel frame with a liner lock. Now, I do love this. All right, you can see the scales are two-tone. So the base is G10. And the top layer is carbon fiber. Oh my god, that just looks amazing. It really, really, truly does. Now this is what kills me, alright? In a couple sites, it says it's a left-hand, right-hand carry tip up only, but, um, do you see what I see? There's the screws for the scales. I don't see that extra hole on this side. So to me, there's only one way to carry this, right-hand style. Now, this is what kills me. So unless that is their new symbol for assisted opening, okay, normally that's the IKBS system. But like you saw down there, it is an assisted, and yeah, that liner lock kind of sticks a bit. So once you get it past a certain point, it just rockets right out of there, no problem. And you can kind of see, hopefully, in there just a little bit more. So yeah, I mean, it works great. It seriously, it just right open. And in case you're curious, it is made in Taiwan. Oh, yeah. Right in your hole. All right. Now let's do those fun cut tests that we love to do here on the channel. Now, we usually just do three. And if you're curious why I do those three, take a look right up top there. You're going to see a card for why I do the cut tests. There we go. Heavy-duty stock paper. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get a curly cue. <laughs> that was my fault. All right. I'm done with that. Just the day I'm having a little bit of curling back, a little bit right there. I'm okay with that. And yeah, I'm not seeing, oh, well, there's some paper flakes up top. Okay, next up, paracord. Right. Pull test. I don't know if it's the blade. I don't know if it's the paracord. Because like I said, this stuff was in one of those tactical rope dispensers. And as you can kind of see right there, I was pulling kind of hard from right there. But still, wow. All right, slice test. 
Oh, I went through, no problem. And all right, our buddy Mr. Ratchet Strap. Eh, through it, no problem. All right, let's take a look like we usually do. I don't really see a lot of paper and a lot of other stuff. I mean, there's some right there, but still, not a lot of it. All right. Now, I did the homework and all the fun stuff on this guy on March 2nd, 2021. I took a look on Amazon, CRKT, and Blade HQ. And, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm filming this March 3rd, 2021. On Amazon, this is $65.58. It is Prime eligible. On CRKT, basically $100, bucks, 99.99. And Blade HQ, $64.95. It has yet to be reviewed across the board. It is that new new. All right, now we're at the fun part of the video. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. Do you think she's a noise or an F-bomb? A noise or an F-bomb? I like it, okay? It's worked its way into my rotation. It feels good in pocket, feels good in the hand. I was really surprised by that pull test, to be honest with you. Really surprised. But like I said, it's either the blade or the paracord, and I haven't found a bad spot on the blade yet, but we will be touching that up later just to make sure. Now, for you first-time viewers on my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Look, I know you got lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very, very grateful that you're choosing my channel. Now, for you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question is why not? Why don't you leave me a comment right down below what I can do to earn your subscription, and let's see how we can change the course of history of this channel. Now, after you've done all that fun stuff, I know I'm asking a lot, but it's all free, okay? Take a look right down there. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up in just a moment. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked that out of the way, please, just show the little bell icon that's sitting right next to it. Why? Great question. Because that's going to let YouTube notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much on YouTube, do. Wait a moment. Okay, well, there's my screw-up. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm a dummy. So, there's your switch for pocket clips. I'm so used to that, and I'm so used to looking at deadbolt systems recently, I totally overlooked that. So, I'm a dummy right there. I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of comments going, hey, dummy, it's up there, and they haven't watched as far to the video. But still, like I'm saying, with those videos that we love so much on YouTube, too, will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select for my current catalog, and hopefully you'll like them. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the CRKT PSD. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a safe day, a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video.